everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Positive Power with Michelle Dion. I hope you had a wonderful Easter weekend. I had a fantastic one, and the sun was shining, the weather was great. Spent some time with my kids and my grandchildren, um, which was fantastic. And with some friends that I hadn't seen for a while, so that was absolutely awesome. And some time by myself. I really had a good balance over the weekend, which was important, and I hope you did too. So it was really good, and the time with the family was good. We had a good big meal, and I got them all a little bit of chocolate, and it was really good. It was awesome, and I don't, um, we don't go to church, so that wasn't a part of our Easter weekend. But um, I also don't feed into the commercialism of any of the major holidays, and but I do, you know, of course I'm going to get everybody a little bit of chocolate, including myself. Um, <laughs> but I don't go and I don't get all carried away with, you know, all the different gifts and stuff. So that's my personal choice of how I chose to, to spend the holidays. So that was really good and it was awesome. We had a great time and good times were had by all. So that's the important thing. That's what counts. So now that it's over, I've been able to get back to my normal stuff and start looking at the good news stories that I like to look at all the time and I like to share with you. So upon looking for good news stories, I came, I went to the Good News Network, which is where I frequent actually quite a bit, <clears throat> excuse me, and so I went there and I found a really awesome site, and it's actually about a changed life, which is so exciting because, you know, everybody has a past, everybody has a story, we all have stuff we've gone through, we have stuff maybe we're not so proud of, everybody's got, you know, skeletons in the closet, that's what we used to call it growing up, and... It's important to know that you're not tied to that. You're not tied to your mistakes. You're not tied to things that even happen to you. You know, like, um, do you choose to be a victim or choose not to be a victim? Important things. That's a pretty deep subject. But I came across this really cool story. And it's about a guy, and he's an ex-drug dealer, actually. And he turned into a lawyer that helps kids stay out of trouble and get out of trouble. Wow, what a flip-flop that is. He actually had been arrested 13 times before his 20th birthday and was facing as much as 15 years in the federal penitentiary in Florida for felony aggravated assault. That's some pretty serious stuff. And unless the, re the correct unless the right rehabilitation um, classes and learning procedures and everything are in place at the prisons, quite often they come out worse than what they went in with, and they certainly have some new skills. So that's not really where, you know, you want anybody to be. So he took it upon himself to change his life, and now today he is one of Atlanta's hottest young lawyers. So how exciting is that, and what a great story that is. And for him, it helps him fulfill his purpose. Because quite often in life, you go through different things that set you up and give you the skills, the expertise, the knowledge to propel you into where you can be the most effective and the most helpful towards humanity if you feel inclined to go that way. So that's absolutely awesome because of his experiences. He has the knowledge. He knows the system and he knows the system's broken. He would know about, you know, broken families and addiction and all that other stuff. So that's fantastic that he can you know, tell the story of what happened to him and how he came to be where he was, um, and then to pull himself out of it and have this new life and this fresh beginning. And it's so important, you know, that you can do that because quite often we do. We label ourselves and we keep ourselves down like you did that horrible thing. And, you know, no, nobody probably even remembers what you did, but you remember what you did. And quite often it's like heavy, carrying heavy baggage, and that's what you don't need. So you need to dump that, get over it, forgive yourself, and move on. And obviously that's what he's done. Like, that is an awesome story. And stories like that are absolutely fantastic because they re help you realize that we're all the same. We're like, we're like all different leaves on the same tree. So everybody's got a story, and it's equally valuable but equally unique. Do you know what I'm saying? So that's pretty awesome. So from there, I found a really cool website that I think is worth bookmarking if you're interested. And it is at www.incrediblepeople.com. 
and it's um, from Incredible People Magazine, which I'm going to have to look and see if I can subscribe to that, because that's pretty cool. And their tagline is, Hope and Inspiration from Real People Living Real Challenges, Just Like You. Not awesome, and it's true, and that's what we need. We need that, and it's stories of hope, courage, determination, and compassion. And those are all the things that we need in the world right now, and a big blast of love on top of that. <clears throat> so it's an awesome site and it's got stories about different people some they've conquered health things um, other ones it's like this guy where you know he's changed his life because some things you can control some things you can't right so that's pretty awesome it's an awesome site definitely worth checking out and even on Facebook there's quite a lot of inspiring stories about people who have changed their lives in different way ways um, or just banded together you know you see a lot of people on Facebook that do the with the pages so they'll have pages and they tell their story through the pages and usually it's because it's too emotional that they don't want to actually say it out loud and there's a guy I follow on Facebook and his name's Randy Morris and he oh I bet it was about a year ago he had the papers and he was telling a very sad story about his brother who committed suicide and then his other brother committed suicide and how sad and depressed and <clears throat> just lost he was he was just like a a lost soul reaching out for help and he he did this with all the papers and oh my goodness thousands and thousands of people watched it and friended him and supported him and I've watched his progression since we're friends now on Facebook and you see him and he's happy and he's got kids and he's got a healthy relationship and he still struggles who doesn't everybody struggles there's always something going on but he he has the communication and that's what is key right so if you have something going on positive or negative communicate it to people if it's, it's something that's tough there's other people that are going through it too so communicate it with them and don't you know um, don't deny help that people want to people want to help you know and there's the whole world's changing people there's more people that are realizing that you know the the power is in love <clears throat> not in hate and things are changing and I see more and more people on Facebook on Twitter on all sorts of social media and friends that I have that are realizing that you know drop the stress and that you have control and and so many different things so if you're having good things happen to you and you're changing your life or good things are just happening or maybe you're like me and you believe in the law of attraction maybe you're attracting good things into your life because lack attracts lack and abundance attracts abundance so you know if you have stuff like that share it tell people let people know you know like that's awesome that they did the story about this guy that is the lawyer because we could know all sorts of people that have ac accomplished wonderful things like that. Like to me, that's a miracle. That is absolutely awesome that he's done that. That's so fantastic. And so, you know, if you share those stories, it'll help inspire people. And, you know, sometimes people feel hopeless. They feel like they're just stuck and they're hopeless. And they've had so many crappy things happen to them that they they just, they can't move. They can't do anything or they feel it's generational, you know. Um, that their mother, you know, whatever, and, and their mother, and, and so on, and whether it be um, a financial thing, or whether it be a moral thing, or whether it be where you fit into society, anything is fixable. Anything is changeable if you believe in yourself. And so you should. So you're, today is a brand new day. Anything can change. It doesn't matter what happened tomorrow, but it's important that you learned from it. That's what it is. That's the key. So I guess that's my message from today. Um, and it really gets down to, you know, when you meet somebody, you don't know what their story is. So treat it that way and treat them like they're, they're all your brothers or all your brothers and your sisters. That way you'll be a lot more compassionate, right? And if you have a story, share it. And even if it's a tough one to share, you know, and I'm not saying you have to go on social media and blast all your business. You know, I don't. I go on and if you notice, if you're my Facebook friend, I very rarely put stuff about myself personally because well again I believe in the law of attraction so if I put down you know all sorts of stuff on there I think I'm attracting more of it to me that would be counterproductive so if you have a great story please share it with me I'd love to hear it and I'd love to share it 
So have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your week. And I hope everything lines up for you perfectly. Everything you want is there for you. Just got to think about it. Have a great day.